Looking to buy a Balinese family home in Aspen Hills Nature Estate? Welcome, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are in this gorgeous lifestyle estate with listing agent Nuno from Law Real Estate who's going to take us on a tour of this beautiful home. As always, specs on the house. This is a four bedroom, five and a half bathroom, four garage home. Nuno, up to you my friend. Xavier, thank you once again for having me on your channel. I'm super excited to take you in our latest listing inside Aspen Hills Nature Estate. Um, I think the most important things is to sort of understand where we are within Aspen. Um, you basically only have two neighbors, uh, one on each side. And um, if you're looking at the stand size, it's, it's a lot bigger than your average stand. So we on the, well, we over 1,500 squares to be exact, 1,579 and perfectly positioned you have the nature reserve literally backing you which is ideal so as you step inside i'm sure you can appreciate your main entrance and when your guests arrive they will be blown away and what you'll also appreciate is your marble tiling throughout gorgeous white marble the sellers have sort of started to move out. So obviously picture your furniture, your style, how you would decorate it, but very open, um, gorgeous living spaces, very expansive. So we are currently in the dining area, but gorgeous free flowing from your kitchen onto the rest of the house. Um, you have your center island gas stove, and it's just gorgeous, beautiful thick Caesar stone tops as well. And then you have your scullery to your right and you have your walk-in butler's pantry. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I can't fault it at all. It is the heart of the home. And Xavier, as you step into the space in front of you, it's your formal lounge. It does have stacking doors, which also opens up to your outside. Beautiful, I love the integration. Nice flow from one area to the next. Look at the space here. But it's important to picture your grand dining room table. You do have a fireplace. So for those winter evenings where it's quite cold, get that going. Enjoy life in the space. Um, you have a beautiful outdoor, indoor entertainment veranda area, which is all closed up, but it can uh, all stack open quite easily. And then to your right, you have your TV room, nice and spacious. What they created is pretty much like a feature wall for your TV. Um, you can get the same thing going or get a projector in. It's nice and big, really, really beautifully done. And then to your right, you have more of like a bar area. It could become an espresso bar depending what you are into. Some people don't drink. Most people do, so that's essentially what it would be. So we will get to the outside section in a bit, but just so that you can get an idea of your um, landscaped garden, um, you get your beautiful bridge that you can see towards the left of the camera, and then it overlooks your swimming pool. So your, the pool, the, the sellers haven't been here, it has been raining, which we know about, but picture it blue, it will be blue when I give you your keys. Let's go through, let's go take a look at your first bedroom, which is downstairs, your guest suite. But quite cool, curb appeal, high ceilings. And then as you come through, you have your guest toilet. I just want you to have a look as you step inside, have a look at your tiles, your feature tiles. Very beautiful, very creative, unique. And then you do have your floating toilet. As we step into the guest bedroom, You'll notice the high ceilings, beautiful double chandelier, lots of cupboard space, lots of space, and it does overlook your garden. It does have its own ensuite, so if you have a look, it's a full bathroom. I love these huge tubs. Remind me of the Victoria Albert uh, type style baths that they have. Exactly, and they, they are uh, Victoria Alberts, and we're gonna go upstairs. I'll see you in the pajama lounge now. As you make our way up towards your landing, your pajama area, you will also notice lots of glass. You already start to see the views that we have. Beautiful chandelier, which welcomes you up to the more private part of the home. And then let's go take a look 
before we go to the main bedroom have a look at your pajama lounge this is where you'll be spending a lot of time in the evenings after dinner uh, after dinner time you'll have netflix and chill time right here it's ideal gorgeous bulkheads beautiful features throughout the home let's go take a look at the main bedroom it is gorgeous and just emphasis on that view the moment you step inside and to understand we are one of the highest points in aspen hills nature estate so you'll notice that view which is quite rare not many homes have a view pretty much only on this strip and at night this is simply breathtaking it's awe inspiring it's incredible when the lights are on it's just something else are we lucked out on a day like now because this is a stunning look at that sky beautiful you can only imagine having the sun setting here and also if you look left or right you're pretty much the highest point as i mentioned okay so main bedroom um you do have your doors which open up you have your sliding door um, you do have your laminate flooring uh, pretty much in all the bedrooms and then you will see over here it's your walk-in closet as mentioned the sellers don't really stay anymore they've pretty much moved out why would they move out of such a beautiful home i don't know but welcome to your main ensuite um, very spacious all imported from spain the finishes a nice big double shower so his and hers you have your freestanding uh, victoria albert bath and then you'll notice that you're not ever feeling cramped up like i can swing a cat in here and you literally won't touch sides nice one so let's go take a look at the rest of the bedrooms again as we move over enjoy that view because that will never change there's no hotel that will ever be coming up in front of you so that will be your setting for the rest of your life so heading over to our third bedroom you do have a service area as well for your pajama lounge quite nice get a bar fridge put it in and just enjoy life so now this is the third bedroom what i really like about the third bedroom again you've got you have views from this side nice and spacious high ceilings again and then you have your ensuite so all bedrooms have their own bathrooms beautifully done i love the size of that bath it's a tiny little one yeah it's it's, it's quite unique unusual. it's unusual which is all imported. I'm imported. Are you imported? You are imported, exactly. I'm obviously imported, but a <laughs> few generations ago. <laughs> so this essentially is currently a music, music room. room. Yeah. It can become a home office, it can become another bedroom if you need a fifth bedroom. Especially work from home, I completely agree. Work from home, and then you do have a bathroom. So this is not an ensuite. You can always link it to the uh, music room and just have a look at your finishes. It's very, very cool, very creative, something I haven't seen before. You have your shower, bath, beautifully finished off. Let's go take a look at your sunroom as well as your last bedroom. So they sort of have their gym room, had their gym room here. You have a beautiful skylight, lots of natural light, which just floods this upstairs section of the home love it very nice i really enjoy this is a very nice room i can imagine it probably can get hot in here but yeah with the windows open like that and skylight very very nice great for winter and open up the doors get that breeze in um, so this is the last of the bedrooms so double rooms you can see they have two double single beds and then you have a full bathroom again what you can see is that mini victoria albert bath great for the kids it's gorgeously finished off now let's go take a look at the outside section which in my opinion um, is sort of like your money shots um, your entertainment area this is where life happens with all your friends and family take a look at your beautifully landscaped garden um, you have your own private bridge which xavier i know you've uh, shot at a lot of uh, beautiful homes throughout uh, Gauteng 
I don't think you've seen one of these, but you can be the one to comment. It's, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, it is my first. I've never seen anything like this. Very unusual, I love this feature. And where does this lead the two? So it just sort of ties up your, your pongola area, your chill area. Um, as we go across, this is essentially an adult a jungle gym. I know it makes me think of Sun City because whenever I go there and my daughter, uh, all she wants to do is walk on the wobbly bridge. So now you have your own wobbly bridge. Um, I'm sure your kids will literally find it as a, as a jungle gym. And I think it's pretty cool. And it just gives you that, that feel that it's Africa we are in Africa and wow what you'll also notice from here you have that beautiful look and view of your home from the back um, you'll also notice it is solar powered the home very nice I love the setup look at this even nice and picture, today look at this nice setup and here. picture a, you know some lounge suites outside maybe a bean bag read a book relax and then as we go across, um, you'll, you'll notice your Boma area, but again, you could always get or erect or build an uh, incredible entertainment area. But that view is just simply breathtaking. To have a stand size of 1,579 squares inside an estate, you're paying a lot of money for. I love this separate section. It's nice and private. Uh, you mentioned earlier, two neighbors. Two neighbors. So it's not like you need to worry about in the back everything is nicely fenced off you've got yeah privacy 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 and xavier so i've been here at night for for viewings and when all this lights up and the pool lights up it's just a different home so it's a it's an evening home but it's also a morning home and um, you're getting beautiful sunrises um from your main bedroom and then you have your sunsets which are literally behind us um some stats about the home um, under roof, you're looking at 550 squares. So going to build that, even if it's at 10,000 a square, but it can't be 10,000 uh, 10, rand a square with marble tiling, imported Spanish um, tiles. It's just, it's not going to happen. But let's say it was at 10,000, that's five and a half million rand just to build this. But the stand is uh, probably worth four million rand. Oversized swimming pool, solar no. system, it has the works. Very, very nice, you know, I like it, this is, and the bar, like you said, you can use it in the morning for your coffee, in the afternoon for your sundowners. Exactly. Here we go. Because this is where you spend your time in the evenings and you have your sunset view literally straight ahead of you. Jeez. So, to wrap it all up guys, we have five bedrooms, six bathrooms, um, beautifully appointed finishes throughout. Uh, marble tiling, double story, 550 squares under roof on a stand of 1,579 squares. What more are you looking for? I don't know. If this is not the one for you, I don't know what is. But give us a call today and we can hopefully find your next dream home. And let's secure it today. Um, it is a pleasure taking you through. And if there's any questions, please ask Xavier or ask me. I'm here to assist you. And let's get darling right now thank oh. you for your time over and out i think he said it all <laughs> looking to buy a balinese family home in aspen hills nature estate guys new noise the man email phone number everything will be below this video as always any questions make sure to reach out thank you so much for your time and have an awesome awesome afternoon